Runk. <laughs> Here we go. It's another episode. Uh, I will be in Tucson, Arizona, uh, June 17th, crystalia.com. And I will be in Pueblo, Colorado, Colorado Springs. Uh, and I got some dates in Las Vegas. And the Don't Push Me Tour is coming to Charlotte, North Carolina, Knoxville. A bunch of different dates coming up. Get your tickets while they last. Uh, Montreal is about to sell out. Hamilton is sold out. Pittsburgh, Cleveland, Detroit, Orlando. I'm not sure how many are. I don't know if any of these are sold out. I don't think they are. They're bigger places. But um, anyway, go to chrislee.com to come see me in the Don't Push Me Tour. And without further ado, this is the next episode of Congratulations. Um, so that's what's up. Yeah, and uh, you know, I don't know, dude. It's uh, it's a good it's a good day, except for the fact that it's gloomy again. And I know you don't want to keep you don't come to me for the weather. I know you come with me for the you come to me for the hard hitting facts. I brought this uh, lint roller to my podcast studio because I thought sometimes I have lint on it, but um. I don't have lint on it. Whatever, that's boring. But um, yeah, it's gloomy, and you don't come here for the weather report, but also sometimes you need the weather report. Here's the deal, man. Los Angeles was fired on all cylinders. Almost threw up in my mouth. Firing on all cylinders, okay? It really was. And then COVID happened, and then it kind of all went to shint, all right? Um, so three, four years later, it's okay. But here's the deal. One of the main, it's expensive as ish to live in uh, Los Angeles, okay? The be- the best part was always the weather. And now the weather just goes like this. No, yeah, you know what? It actually does suck there. And I'm not trying to badmouth LA. I'm in LA, dude. I'm in LA. I'm in LA because I want to be. I'm not one of those people that's like, dude, it sucks here or there or wherever I live. And, and then it doesn't suck. It's harder but also, sup with the weather. We need the weather to get the the. It's the clouds, dude, and it's all the time, and it's cold, and it's rainy. I can't get my car washed, you know. And I know that every time I complain about something, people who don't get the humor are in the comments. By the way, leave a leave a comment and subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to uh, Super Good Studios. Um, I know that people are like, "All right, guy, you know, there's real problems in the world." I know, but also clouds. Hey, clouds, go away, dude. Um, and it's just gloomy as, as all get out and I don't like it. And whenever I wake up, I open my eyes and I look out the window and I see clouds and then I go like this. Isn't that amazing? And it bothers me because I want it to be sunny. I only like sunny. That's it. I like it to be sunny. And do I like it when people say they like the rain? No, because you don't really like the rain, right? You like to be what? Inside. Inside when it's raining out, right? I love the sound of the rain and the, get a sound machine. You're not Brendan Fraser screaming outside in school ties in the rain, right? You're being you're being what we are we have come to known as a liar, okay? You don't like the rain. Get you all wet, sin convene. Um but anyway, it's like we're all just chilling, and then we got Al Pacino nutting all up in his girl, right? 82, 89, whatever, how old he is, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how old you are. Once you get past 75, right? 73, maybe. 74, you're du- you're all good, right? You better have some seriously comfortable pants and shoes and, a sh- and that's it, really. Because, but Al Pacino goes like this. Oh, no, I'm not done. Right? That's what he did. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I'll keep nothing. Ha! Another kid. How many kids does Al Pacino have? Uh, four kids. Well, he's about to have five. He's about to have four. That's the fourth one. He's about to have the fourth one. With 29-year-old woman, whatever, you know? She's in it for, that's the Al Pacino baby, right? Oh, yeah. Um... And so he all got it all up in her and I'm not trying to be crass. Right. But he got up in them guts and then, um, and then he's going to have a baby come out, you know, nine months later, baby's going to come out. Baby's going to be like, Oh yeah. Oh boy. And the, and Al Pacino's, of course, he's not going to be there. But if he was, he'd be like, Oh yeah. 
that's a boy. Or, it's a girl. All right. And, uh, good thing I nutted. Oh, good thing I nutted. Um, good thing I didn't put a sheet over it. Oh, boy. Isn't it right? Um, so, anyway, just 80 fucking hundred. However old he is, 80, 17, and he just, that's it, dude. God. And also, what's the deal with Al Pacino doing, like, people are always like, hey, Al Pacino is just like, they they mix up Al Pacino and Robert De Niro, you know? And then Al Pacino and then Robert De Niro, he did it. He's going to have a kid again, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then he goes, <clears throat> all right. And then Al Pacino, what? He did what? Oh, boy. Hello. Come over. Oh, yeah. Now what? <laughs> all right. That's how, that's, how, that's how De Niro just gets all up in them guts. All right. All right. <laughs> That's how he straight up splurts. Just, all right. All right, I'm all done. Al Pacino says, oh, yeah. And then and then uh, they are going to have kids. Dude, they're gonna, those kids are going to grow up. They're going to meet each other one day, and they're just going to be like, yeah, you know, I don't know. All right. The kid's going to be like, all right. I just, uh, he's 83 years old, and Robert De Niro is, oh, wow, Al Pacino asked Alf, a girlfriend, Noor Alfala, to take DNA test. Oh, because I know I'm not the only one you've been, you know, I know I'm not the only one, right? Um, uh, yeah, so, I don't know. If you're 80-something, though, and you, it actually, I will say this, dude, um, if you're... He thought he could no longer have children. And then that chick was like, let's see what's up, though. If you're 80 something and you're wearing condoms, oh, here's the deal. It's very, um, it's very responsible to wear condoms if you're over 80. I mean, you know, we know they don't because they're like, fuck it. I'm going to be dead and I want to, and I want to be really feeling all that stuff, right? That's what, that's what old dudes think. Probably, I don't know, not 80, but they're probably like, yeah. Like, that's why they say, like, herpes and, like, all of the crazy STDs are rampant in, like, retirement communities. Because, like, why would they be sheeting, right? Because they want to feel all that. Right? They want to literally feel all that and have it just be like. Isn't that amazing? You know what I mean? And, um, and so... But also, it's very irresponsible, right? Because you don't want to have a kid that grows up without a father, right? I don't. I wouldn't do that because, you know, now that I know what it's like to be a father, there's just zero way. I mean, I got to be around. I started working out again, like harder, because I want to be able to, like, keep fit for my children. And that's straight up. You know, not, I don't say this a lot, but that's on God, you know? And do I believe in God? I don't even know, right? But, like, that's on God, right? So, yeah, I can't imagine just straight up being 82. Because when that baby comes out, you're going to want to have that, oh, I want to be here. I would go, I would tailspin, dude. I would just have a, a tailspin. I would spin out. That that's My son or daughter now isn't going to be able to... And I just got a, I got a few more oh yeahs left in me, and that's it. And she's gonna have to watch, you know, she's gonna have to grow up and just know me from uh, the fucking Dog Day Afternoon movie. That's your dad, really? Yep. Was he four six? He looks so short in that movie, but he maybe he is. I don't know. I met him once. I met Al Pacino once, and he was awesome. He walked in the room and he was just like, "Hi," um, and I was like, "Eh, sit." Pacino. Um, so, yeah, dude, I don't know. And De Niro just was... De Niro, how old is De Niro? 79, okay, so, yeah. I guess you could be around for another 20 years, but still. I mean, 79, 89, 99? I mean, by the time you're 85, you're just... Oh, dude, I can't even imagine being 85. 
even now I'm like, my patients are being worked all the time. Right. Dude, someone was in line the other day. I went to this place because I ate good chicken from it. And I, and I go like this the next day. I like, you know what, dude, I want that chicken again. So I go and I park in the 15 minute slot because I'm just going to go pick up the chicken and come back. And the 15 minute slots real easy to get to. So I park there and I go wait in line for the chicken. The line, 25 minutes. So already I'm like, okay, they're working my last nerve. I am next now. And the people in front of me, it's two women and a guy. And it, they did the thing where like they're in the line and I'm waiting. And uh, and then other people, their friends were coming up and saying shit. And I'm like, are you all ordering for them? To, like, what's going I need to know what I'm getting into, what kind of line I'm getting into, right? But I'm 43, so I'm like, not, you know, my point is, is like my patients are already worth thin, period. I'm at point, at, at jump, my patients are already like, all right, what's going on here, though? Hold on, right? No matter what's about to happen, I, uh, right? So the people are in front of me, and 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 the line, now here's why I tell you the line's 25 minutes. Not even because I, you know, I'm not even trying to tell you that, like, that's a long time for me. I'm trying to tell you, the line's 25 minutes. When you get there, that's a wrap. You go, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this. Thank you. Here's my card. Have it out. I got my card. Bing. There we go. Boom. These people walk up uh, this shit already. No. Have, have already read it. Have yourself a read already before you get up there. Also, the, there's like nine things on the thing. And you're just getting the chicken, right? It's a chicken place. You can get a salad with chicken on it. You get a chicken. I didn't even look at the thing. You get a salad. Here's what I know you can get. A salad with chicken on it, a chicken sandwich, or, or a chicken. That's what you can get. And even if you don't look at the sign, know yourself. Know yourself. You know what you like. Even if you want chicken parmesan which they're probably not going to have because it's just a place you walk up and get some chicken from you go up you say i got chicken parmesan they say no and you go like this "Ah, all right saddle with the chicken on it or just chicken walk up and be like do you have steak no it's a chicken place okay chicken but these people are like do i now does it cut now does the if I get it, does it have the what? Read it. And do the things come with the thing with the, and this is the shit they're doing. Okay, so, and this is the worst part. The lady who's doing it turns around and does that jokey, I'm sorry, you know, I, I know, but i sorry, I should have, <laughs> And the other lady laughs hard at it. And I'm just like, hey, you know what, dude? I've had over 40 pizzas in the last 30 days. No. Living currently in Mark Shapiro should be in jail. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, nah, dude. Get it going. Don't be all jokey. Turn around and say, yo, I'm actually really sorry. I didn't know it was going to take this long. I really should have been prepared. I go like this. That's all good, right? Thank you for understanding my plight. But I went in there, dude. I swear to God, she did it. And just to make a point, dude, I time myself just to make a point. I go, I want this, this. I ordered, Dude, I ordered five things for everybody at home. I want, I want this, 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 and this, and this, and this. Is that it? Yup. Put the fucking card in. Took it out. Signed the thing. Files done. Dude, that was it. Then it took another 25 minutes. For, uh, 50 minutes, dude? It's a new place, but get your shit together, right? 50 minutes. Uh, and they ha- and also, in the window, it's one of those places that shows the chickens turning, which I don't, it's our, I don't want to see it. <laughs> First of all. Second of all, they had 900 chickens. Cut it up. Cut it up. Serve it. 
So anyway, my point is when I'm 82, holy shit. That's what I kind of get when you're 82. I get the impetus to not use condoms because you're like, I waited so long for chicken. I got no time left, and I waited 50 minutes for fucking chicken. I'm not wearing a rubber. I needed to make the most of this while I'm alive. And I hope my son or daughter, whoever comes out, I hope they get it. Because if they don't, they will by the time they're 80. Oh, I get it. They go. Um. So, yeah. Dude, I was in the... Uh, so, my wife is the default parent, right? Which she... I don't know what that is, but I'm assuming it means that... I don't even know if I... Let me... Hold on. Let me look up what a fucking default parent is. Default parent. She's like always home or something? A default parent is typically the one who's first in line when it comes to caring for children, child-related responsibilities. Yeah. Well, okay. I guess. But I don't really agree with this because it all depends on what the fuck happens. You know? William, yeah, he's real young. Really all he does is drink that tet milk. You know what I mean? It's not coming from me. So, yeah, she's the default parent. But if Cal slips and falls and bonks his head, he runs and hugs me. He might run and hug her too, but we know what it means, default parent, okay? But so she's, I guess, I don't like that term because I think, you know, we're at we're at Nintendo World and, and Calvin wants to jump on my shoulders, right? So who's the default parent there, okay? But my, anyway... So she says she's the default parent because this woman, uh, Amber Thornton, created a term. They'd be creating terms, man. I'll tell you that much. And um, so my wife is doing a lot of the, uh, you know, hey, William, drink this. Which is an all time. It's an all. Cons- it's I get it. it. That's tough. I. I can't imagine having a part of my body that like another being had to had to like depend on to live. I would I mean I would just be like I can't even wait in line for fucking chicken, you know? So the dogs, I guess, on the lower level of my house, on the bottom level, the lowest level I'll say. Lower sounds like I have two level. I've I've more than I have three level. I'm not even okay, but it's the truth. My dogs just threw the fuck up, two of them. Like, it, like they went there to do it like they're, like they're in, like, Ibiza, and it, it's fucking 3 a.m. And I say Ibiza. So my dogs went down to Ibiza and just go, Bleh, and then ran back up. Stunk to high heaven. My wife takes some paper towels and just puts them on there. Like, they didn't wipe it up. She just put it on to where you throw it down, and then you see the, the, the liquid to throw up just kind of over the towel. Like that disgusting shit where you're like, oh, wow, there's actually a lot more than I thought. So it's there for a day. Okay. And by the way, I'm with my wife on this. I I don't, I'm not calling her out. I think that's amazing. Dude, keep that shit there till you, till you know what? Till you want to pick it up. I don't give a fuck. I walk by it like three times. I don't care. It's covered. We good. Okay. So it's there for a day. I think it might have been there for two days. I have no fucking idea. Not more than two days. But there's dog throw up on my lowest level, and the fucking towels are over it. With the, the you know, with the with the disgusting. You could see it was beige and all that. So my wife, I'm I'm breezing past it for a day and a half. Okay. My wife says, "Hey, the doctor's coming because we got to test. We got to see if Cal- Calvin's a little bit under the weather." Um. And I'm like, this is unnecessary. He's got the sniffles. Like, it's fine. But whatever. If it's RSV, which is a bad thing for a very, very young child to get, and he has it, then he could give it to William. And then that's bad, right? So the doctor comes to test him. It's fine. She puts the swab up his nose. But before that, uh, <clears throat> she says, hey, can you go clean up the the throw up? Because... The doctor's coming. And I was like, yeah, even though I don't want to yet, it's all good, right? Because I guess, I mean, doctors see throw up all the time, right? They're doctors. But she, she as a woman, my, my wife doesn't want another woman to see she has a dirty house. And I get that. 
So in a way, it's like, you do it, but also I'll do it, right? Because you're the default parent. <clears throat> you got to feed William. So I go down there. <clears throat> I go, I don't, I don't go, I go with an extra little piece of bounty shits. I go down, I go to wipe it up. Dude, hey. Oh, it was only a little throw up. Stop the cap. Dude, it was a mountain of hard, used to be gelatinous, brown something. Okay? Hey, and it didn't smell bad. Stop the cap. Dude, I couldn't. It was like in the cartoons, <clears throat> the bad smell, and it went like this. Like with the smoke. <clears throat> and I go, and I say, <clears throat> I go, I look at my little paper towel and I say, oh babe, this is way worse than I thought. I, I can't, I got him. I'm going to take dish towels. I'm going to get dish towels. Fuck it. Yeah. Cause I could just do this with a, a few Kleenex. Stop the cap. So I got dish towels. I take the dish towels and in a way I'm bringing the dish towels downstairs and I'm like, I hope it cleans it up. But in a way I'm like, I don't know if this kind of ruins the dish towels. Right. Because it should have been done already. She she just laid the shit on there, which I'm with her, and I get it. And I would have done the same thing, but still, uh, in a way, because I'm a piece of shit, I'm like, I hope this ruins your fucking dish towels. And I hope I got the good ones. I don't even know what the good ones are. I hope these are the ones you like. I hope they're staying beige all the time, forever. So I go, and I got also, here's the thing. I look under the sink. Like, what can I clean this with? Because I need it. De Grimer. I don't even know what I picked. I picked something, and it, this is what my cleaning ladies do, dude. They fucking take bottles of shit. When they empty out, they fill it with other shit and put tape over it and then write a new thing. They just, like, write what it's for. Kitchen. So I'm like, oh, dude, what is this shit? I have no idea. It's not the kitchen, but still, I'm like, look, kitchen, the spray that you use in the kitchen, is some. it's got to be some dope shit because it's what? It's food it's got to get the real grime the degreaser you got to get the fucking you got to get the shit inside the oven so i take it spray it great it worked dish towels scooped it up amazing isn't that amazing so i go to take god damn dude this is just great on our second level on our mid-level, we have two baskets. Now, are they big enough? Of course not. Why? Because they need to look good. And I'm like, function over form or function over beauty, whatever the fuck. Uh, but she's like, yeah, but the little baskets are cute. And I'm like, yeah, but what are they for? She's like, clothes. But I'm like, yeah, but that's one sweater for me, right? So that's amazing, right? Isn't that amazing? So there's two of them. She says, this one, this is a month ago. This one is for dirty clothes, and this other one is for anything we need to bring upstairs. Now, they're both too small. So I'm like, the fuck we need to bring upstairs? Q-tips. Two weeks ago, we had a conversation where I say, you know what? That basket for our clothes is too small. It's about one sweat, one and a half sweater worth. My wife says, yeah. So I'm like, all right, in my head, now, I went beyond the conversation, which we do sometimes. I, I'm going to put the dirty clothes in both the baskets, right? Fuck it. I didn't even remember I did this. So what I did was I took the dishcloths, threw them in one of the baskets. I didn't even know which one, but it didn't matter because they're all for clothes now, and they both had clothes in them. So I was like, my wife's on board with my plan that I made up in my head. Now, about 10 minutes before this podcast starts, my wife says, what the fuck? My wife basically is just what the hell? looking down at the fucking basket. And I say, huh? And she said, are you kidding me? You did this? And I'm like, the right thing? Is this a joke? I did what you asked, and I put the fucking thing away in the baskets. And she said, you ruined my new clothes. And I said, huh? And she said, I put my new clothes in the basket, the bring upstairs basket, and you put these dish towels full of throw up 
in that basket. And I said, yeah, because I want to wash it. And he said, you can't put all these chunks to throw up in the thing and you're going to fuck up my new clothes. I said, new clothes? Why are you washing your new clothes? She says, I'm not just to bring upstairs basket. So I'm like, what? Too many rules. I thought I did the right thing. So here's my question to you guys. She said, go on your podcast and ask these motherfuckers. She didn't say motherfuckers, that's me. But in the comments, is it okay to put Taking, disregarding the basket, I put in the wrong basket, I guess, okay. But disregarding that, is it okay to put ba- uh, towels you took clean throw up in and put it in the regular hamper? Is that okay? Yes or no? Because she says no. And I say, you're going to wash the whole fucking thing anyway. I didn't ruin shit. How about that? I didn't ruin shit. So I'm just like, it's not a problem. Need to move problem. Um, but yeah, you'd be doing that kind of shit too, right? Just getting by as a fucking husband or a, a boyfriend or a man that lives with a woman. You're just, you'd just be getting by, right? How do two gay guys do it? Because guys don't want to do shit. Two gay guys are just like, ah, I'll get to it. You know, guys. But I don't think that's the straight male thing, right? Can you do the thing? Like, do gay guys, are they like, can you, do you mind this or, like, Jesus. One of the best things about being gay is you probably don't have to do any chores. You know, you're just honestly fucking, right? It's pride. So that's kind of, it. it's pride uh, in uh, everywhere, I guess. Pride month is every three months, I think. And I, I I feel like maybe I feel this honestly because I just I live in LA and it's pretty fucking gay here. And that's fine. I love it. I think I think all dudes should fuck dudes. Straight up. I wish I could do it, but it's like, you know, bungee jumping for me. I just kinda I don't want to, you know? Um But if I did, I would do it, dude. Like, you know. I would do it, and I would do it a lot, man. Like, I, 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 I think all men should 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 absolutely fuck other men. <clears throat> so if you're thinking about it, get into that. But like, <clears throat> it's so uh, it's very pride right now. And I was at dinner with my wife, and like we tried to drive f- fucking home, and everything was blocked off. And there's not even a parade happening right now. Right? Or is, I don't even know. I, I think honestly, like more than five gay guys walking around is a parade because they're just so parady, you know? You know, they don't just walk, they like do it like that. So I got out of my car to go to dinner and a dude in a Speedo walked by, just like super gay. And that's all good. I think most guys should do that, straight or gay. But I, here's my problem with the whole thing, okay? Is that we got back in the car after dinner, went home, and everything was blocked off. I couldn't drive my regular route. I had to keep making U-turns just because guys fuck other guys. And it's like, that makes no sense. I want to go, you know where I want to go? That way. But I can't because guys fuck other guys. Do it. Fuck other guys. Like I said, I think all guys should fuck other guys. But I want to go the routes I go. Like, if I was gay, I swear to God, I'd be like, ah, Pride Month is so, it's, can I just fuck guys in peace, dude? I gotta be all, I gotta be all open in my window hollering out about it. You know, let me just suck some, you know, let me just suck quietly. Did you like that? Yeah? All right, cool. Just... It's fine if you tell people, but just don't be all like singing about it, you know? And then I was like driving past a trash can and it said, don't litter, glitter. And it was like, ah, that's litter though, right? What's the most number one-iest thing that's litter? Glitter. Glitter's everywhere always. Hey, look down. You got glitter on you. Because some asshole wore glitter in fucking 2007, right? That you walk by. That shit doesn't go away. Um, so 
I can't drive certain places and it's super gay and that's all good. Um, I don't even think it should be gay to fuck guys. I think it should be straight. Straight into guys. Um, yeah, I'm, it's like... Uh, some days I wish I was a minority so I could just be like, no months for me, dude. That whole year is gay as fuck. You know? Um... That's why if white men, which they will, become the minority and and the because it'll it'll happen where we need a white appreciation day or month, right? It'll happen eventually at some point. Some white guy will want that and they'll lobby for it and then they'll get a a mass of following and then maybe it'll happen. Bro, count me the fuck out. I don't want a month. I don't want a day. I don't want an hour. You know what? We, We could have a second. Hey, it's white second. When? Ah, fuck. We missed it. Oh, that's okay. Doesn't matter. What'd you get me for white second? What'd you get me for white second? Oh, I got you a fucking, um, what my wife got a fucking record player. You know, that's the whitest fucking thing you can get now, by the way, as a record player. You know what I'm talking about? She got a wet, a record player. She's never going to use because she thought some fucking records looked cool. I love her. Fuck. I love her so much. I love that she did that, but it is a white woman move, you know? Um, so yeah. I'm white. I'm white as shit, though. You know. Uh, so what about the throw up towels? Leave signed off in the comments. Coming to Tucson soon. I'll be in Tucson soon. Get your tickets, and I'll be in Nashville soon. Get your tickets. Speaking of white, I saw um, Chrisley.com. I saw um, a video the other day, or no, no, no. I'm sorry. I took a video the other day, and I didn't do anything. I think I actually deleted it. But um, if not, I'll show it. I'll show it up here. But. Um, I was driving home and there was traffic. Wow, I almost threw up my mouth. And um, the car in front in front of me, first, first of all, it was a, a scion, you know? So already go fuck yourself. And it was the boxy one, okay? Like there's two types of scions, bad and worse. Boxy. Whoever made a boxy car, there should be an island for those guys that go. Well, oh, yeah. Oh, you made a boxy car? Yeah, it's a boxy car island. So, yeah, we got to be here because we made a boxy car. It sucks, right? Yeah, it's not aerodynamic. And why would you do it? Right, right, right. Um, There's guys who made Scions, certain Scions and PT Cruisers. Um, And on the back of it, on the on the top of the windshield, it said, Dude, this is so annoying. It said, stop white supremacists. Hey. Yeah. You know? Hey. Yeah. Uh Uh-huh. Who the fuck wants white supremacy? And even white supremacists are like, well, we're not white supremacists per se. It's just that we don't think races should mix. (laughs) There's nobody that would be like, yeah, dude. I mean, the Klan, but where are they? You know what I'm saying? Even, so it's like they're in the, the, it says stop white supremacy. Also, also, you're on Laurel Canyon. You're not where the white supremacy is. Hey, you're a bad salesman. Hey, guy, location, location. It bothered me so much because, of course, I should have got a bumper sticker that behind my said, said, yeah, fucking of course. So you, he drive by and you, you see his and you see mine. And you go, yeah, no, he's right, obviously. Hey, stop heads exploding, too. Hey, no more beheadings, huh? Nobody fucking agrees with that shit anyway, except for like nine people. So here's the deal. You're, because other people be like, ah, it's brave. Bro, that's the least brave thing you could fucking possibly do. Do you know what the most brave thing you could do? 
is get a fucking white supremacy. Have it say white supremacy on your fucking car. Have it say, hey, sup, Nazis. You can't. You're just good. You're in your echo chamber. The bare minimum is the worst thing you can do. You change your car to Twitter. People who do these things, you put a bumper sticker. The Twitter's the new bumper sticker. You're doing the least you can do. And people are saying you're brave. You think you're brave? You're a loser. People go, I tweeted, dude, that's brave. I was brave for saying that. You did the least. You suck. Go knock on a door for fuck's sake. Ah, but send, return, enter. Um, It's just stop white supremacy. I I just, it's so, it's so, the, 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 the whole, I'm brave for doing not only the least thing you could possibly do, but also the thing that everybody agrees with. Why do people think they're brave for doing the thing that everyone agrees with? It's insane, dude. Oh, you're so brave for coming out and saying that fucking Jesus was a nice guy. You're so brave for coming out and saying that Backstreet Boys had some hits. I'm doing the positive of the negative. Usually it's negative stuff, right? But it's just like, dude, relax. And I'm sick of fucking Apple! Don't make the shit yet! Bro, let me tell you something right now. I had it with this shit. Apple, hey, hey, VR, hey, dork ass motherfuckers that are going to wear the VR headset for a day. This is going to be such, rem- remember I said this, dude, that's Crystalia, so you know who said it. The fucking headset VR shit. Now, I'm not talking about chips in your brain. I'm not talking about chips in your eyes or, you know, a a wristband that displays some. I'm talking about headset, dude. That's going to be something that we look back on 30 years after headsets. And we're going to be like, wow, what a bunch of fucking idiots we were back then. Dude, people don't want to wear headsets. Okay. Even the people that say that's not true. Yeah, it is. You don't want to wear that shit. You just think you do because you're a, you think it sounds cool. You think it seems cool. The second you put that clunk master 3000 on, dude, the second you put that fucking loaf of bread over your eyes and you're like, it's kind of hard to breathe, dude, you're going to, how, how much, the most you wear it, the 80% of the time you wear it is going to be the, nah, but I should because I paid for it. <laughs> You're going to be thinking, nah, I paid three, four grand for this shit. I should really get my, and then you'll be wearing it. You're like, I just want to look at my phone and watch my fucking Samsung. Well, oh, dude, so what? Now you get to, you got this clunk master 3000 on your fucking head. Okay. You ever put a football helmet on? First of all, no, unless you play football. Second of all, if you did, you go, oh, wow, it's hot in there. You got the Clunk Master 3000 on, right? For what? For what? So you could do what? Look at pictures of your kids? For what? Play a video game? For what? To be on Reddit? For what? To check your DMs? For what? To pr- what? To for what? What do you need a VR f- headset for? What are you, a branch manager at Wells Fargo, need to save up your racks 
to get a clunk master 3000 on your head and have it fog up from your nose breath. What do you need that for? I'm telling you, it's going to be such a flash in the pan thing. Talk to me when we can do that minority report shit, right? That's porn. Minority report. You're in. The, you're in it. You're in the. You're in the box now. You're just minority report. Um. Dude, I'm an idiot, but whatever, man. This is why you listen. Ha! <sighs> the Apple event and shit. Everyone looks like such a doofus with those things on, too. The, all the all the pictures of the doofuses with the fucking, you know? <laughs> they got, like, an Asian guy and a black woman and then, like, a, a white guy. And then, like, a you know, they got all the sorts of doofuses. Just different colored doofuses just sitting with the fucking doofus clunk master 3000. <laughs> The doofus clunk master bread box 3000. <laughs> Dude, for what? So you can check tweets, you dork. Dude, and people, oh, oh, you saw the thing? Oh, yeah. The new guy, he's not even Steve Jobs. He's like, who the fuck is this guy? Could be just Ralph from a grocery store. Yeah, get him in. You don't even know who he is anymore. Oh. Fucking clunk master bread box three thousand. It's not. I don't. They trick us with this technology shit. They really do be doing that, man. They really do be doing that. We went to fucking. They got us, dude. They got us. We went to Nintendo World. They got us. We went to Nintendo World or whatever the hell it's called, Super Mario Brothers Land, whatever that. I don't even know what it's called. Nintendo World, I think. Nintendo Land. I don't know what it is. Calvin wanted to go. My wife dropped dropped the ju- she did the inception right to him before I woke up. She got up with the baby, walked down, Calvin walked down. My wife dropped the inception thought into his head and then he came up into my bed and he said, "Dad, go to the Nintendo World." And I was like, "How am I going to say no?" "Oh, buddy, I'll be down in a little bit." Went back downstairs, sat on the couch, came downstairs, <laughs> and my wife said to Calvin, "Calvin, tell Dad what you said to me. And he said, I really want to go. And I go, I'm fucked. Okay. But when we do it, we're doing it all. We're going to Nintendo World. We're doing it all. Get the tickets where we can do it all. She got the tickets. She couldn't even, we couldn't even get the VIP tickets because they were sold out, which I don't even know what that means. It's like, you don't want more money? So we get there. As soon as we get there, they say, the line for Nintendo World is virtual. So we go, so, oh, that's great. We don't have to wait in line. Then it says, we try to do it on the app. No more slots available. So I'm like, looks like this is going to be a fucking Harry Potter time, right? I want to see Mario shits. So my wife's like, oh, shit. We can't do it. Oh, well. And I say, there's enough Mario stuff here where we can pretend we went. He's only three. He doesn't really know. I hate to lie to him, but I'm not really lying. It's just like, I want to show him a bunch of Mario stuff. I'll buy him a little star. It'll be fine. We'll go to Hardy's and get a rapper. I think it's a fucking Mario star, you know? And uh, we'll drive by Carl's Jr. Oh, there it is, buddy. Okay, let's go home. Um, and so... Just fucking drive by the Carl's Jr. Just there it is, buddy. And um, doogie doogie doogie, doogie doogie doogie, buddy, look outside. Doogie doogie doogie, doogie doogie doogie. There it is, buddy. Doogie doogie doogie. So um, Brennan then don't and bang. Kank, prank, dank, dunk, bang, dank, dan, 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 
So I uh, went to Nintendo World and couldn't get a slot. Great. So now we can't even get a slot. But I go like this, dude. I think about my dad. I think about my dad. And I think, what would my dad have done in this situation? And the thing that I had come up with in my head, which is the truth, is my dad would have got into Nintendo World no matter what. I know that about my dad. So in my head, I'm like, my dad think he's better than me. I can do that. But it was a much different time back then, right? In the 80s, it was way easier to sneak into places. I mean, you could do anything in the 80s. You could do anything in the 80s. You could walk down the street with your dick all out and punch everyone and not get caught straight up, ever. And now it's like, if you even think about it, they're like, this guy, this guy's looking shady. Get him on camera. And you're like, oh, for, oh, fuck. Okay. I'll just, (laughs) I'll just be regular. (laughs) No punching, huh? Only thing I think I want to go to the bathroom. And all right, (laughs) huh? So, and I know my dad would have got in, but I'm like, but it's a different era. But I should be better than my dad at getting into places and doing stuff that I want to do for my kids because. The student surpasses the teacher, right? That's what we all hear. The student's got to surpass the teacher, right? I'm looking good with all the tattoos, huh? Pretty fucking sexy. So um, so I, I go like this. You know what, babe? Uh, I'll be right back. She says, well, you know what? I actually have the stroller anyway. William doesn't isn't going to really experience that. Why don't you go with Calvin and Jerrica, our friend, and we'll see if we can uh, get in. And I say, all right, I'll see if I can get in. So I walk up and I look to our friend and she says, they're scanning. And I go, yeah, I see they're scanning. And I'm with Calvin and her. And she says, we're fucked. And I said, we're not fucked. We're not fucked, right? Because we'll be fucked when we can't get in. And right now it's before that. So there's always a plan that we can have. So I walk up and I said, you know what? Oh, shit. My, my wife has it on her phone and I don't have the thing with me. Uh, I don't have it downloaded. And she says, oh, where's your wife? And I said, she's actually a few back, but she had the stroller. Um, can we just like wait for her here off to the side? She says, sure, just wait over there. Points behind her and I go, <laughs> you don't have eyes. And I'm very slippery. So I said, okay, cool. I wait for a little bit. I got Calvin. I wait for the lady to turn her head, but I wait a little bit longer. I'm not the guy who goes at first jump because she could be faking us out. She could be like, yeah, wait right there. Anyway, boop. But she didn't. She goes, eh, wait right there. She goes, all right, boop, boop, boop. Three scans. She forgot about it. You know why? I realized she doesn't give a fuck right? She just wanted us to make it easy on her. If we were going to sneak in, she was basically saying, hey, please don't let me see it. So I grab Calvin. I say, let's go. We go into the fucking thing and dude, we're in. I got my son Calvin in to Nintendo land by being sneaky in 2023. So, hey, my dad could have done that in the eighties, but how about them apples? My dad, Anyway, Chris Alea sneaks into fucking Nintendo land. Um, we get in, dude, and it's, first of all, it's too crowded, right? It's too crowded. It's too hot, and it's too crowded. It's too loud. Everybody there is ugly. Shape up, everyone, huh? Do squats. Everyone, right now, do squats. Ten. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, dude, it's cool. It's all good. And it's just like... But we were there. Bro, they killed it. It looks nice, right? It looks real nice. And uh, my son, holy shit. He was just... He loves uh, Bowser and the plants that come out of the tunnels and... Uh, whatever the warp, the fucking tunnel warps. 
uh, and there were plenty of those. He didn't want to go to Bowser's castle because it looked a little bit scary. Um, we saw Mario and Luigi, and he, he loved it. He was just watching it. And then, dude, the, the line for getting a picture with Mario and Luigi was insane. Then they say, oh, Princess Peach is coming out. Everyone, I look over, the line is out to fucking... It's like the line in Russia for bread in 1982. And, um, and so Princess Peach comes out, in her, and the costumes they have now are like legit. It's not like just some like doofy fucking like big ass like Philly fanatic. You know what I'm talking about? 1995. They the face of Princess Peach, like her mouth moves and her eyes are big and they move. And I'm like, who's operating this? Are there two people in there? One guy sitting on another? You know? Or is it a robot? Right? So uh the line's passing, and I'm we're out of the line. I'm with Calvin, and I go, look. Oh, and by the way, Kristen somehow got in with William. I don't know how she got in, but she ended up getting in. And um, no one heard. She probably did it the right way. Um, and so Princess Peach, I don't know how to tell this because there's so many people around. And also, it's just a face that she's, it's not an actual person's face. It's the costume. And I'm like, she's fucking looking at me. Like, I, I'm like, she's fucking, she is looking at me, right? But I'm like, eh, maybe my ego is a lot of control. And also, how can I tell the fucking mask, you know, it's not a real, per like, I, her eyes are not real, right? <laughs> so I'm like, maybe she's not looking at me, right? But then she grabs the fucking worker guy there, the guy who is, not dressed as anything except for a worker, you know? And she grabs him after taking pictures with somebody and she said, she's like whispering in his fucking ear or, or you're probably yelling. Nobody could hear her, right? But like, because there's that whole thing over the speakers and it's like, I'm Princess Peach. Come to me to take pictures. And, and Princess is doing all the thing, but really she's actually saying something to this guy. I don't know if that's a recording or someone else is doing it, you know? And I'm like, this little bitch is talking about me. So now I got, now I, I'm like, I got, uh, do I have beef with Princess Peach? Like, do I actually have beef here at Nintendo Land? Is she going to fucking say, is she like whispering in the workers? Just, you know, that's that guy that got canceled in 2020, right? The comedian. And I'm, I'm like, I don't know what she's saying, but I'm like, here we go. Whatever it is, it's not going to be regular, right? So the fucking worker, I, and I say to my friend, and I say to Kristen, hey, they fucking, they're, they're talking about me. And the worker turns with his real face and now looks at me and points to me. So I'm like, Yo, dude. Hey, we're all we're we're about to fight. We all we all we're gonna have to fight soon. We're gonna have to actually be Mario and Luigi and fight these fucking Goombas and Koopas. You know, get get ready to start jumping on some heads, Calvin. Like I'm like some shit. Whatever's gonna be happening, it's not gonna be regular, right? So she's pointing at me. He's pointing at me. She points. The fucking worker comes up to me and says. Hey, uh, Princess Peach wants to meet you. Like, to me, says, <laughs> just some dude in a blue and red worker outfit says, hey, man, Princess Peach wants to meet you, man. And I say, oh, uh, all right. I bring the family. We walk up to Princess Peach. She's just doing this. And I'm like, I, this isn't really, you're not, I'm not really meeting her. Like, I don't, I, a man can be in there for all I, I have no idea. I have no idea. I think it's a woman. I look at the arms. I'm like, this is a woman. But I said, oh, thank you so much. Can we get a picture? And she's like, yeah. The guy took the camera, take a picture, took a professional picture, boom, boom, boom. And he says, and I say to Princess Peach, thank you so much. I really appreciate you doing that. 
And I felt kind of bad because she obviously did it because, you know, she recognized me. And I felt kind of bad because I cut the line. But then a lot of people in the line were like, hey, Chris D'Elia, let's take a pic. And I took a picture with them too. And it's like, so I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe some people were mad, but it was nice. Uh, and I got that picture for, and we got the picture here. It's right here um, of uh, Kristen and uh, me and Calvin and uh, William and Princess Peach. So whoever that was, the Princess Peach, thank you. I don't know who you are. Um, but very, very cool that you did that. What if it was just Zach Efron? Um, but yeah, Super Nintendo Land or Nintendo Land. I actually don't even I don't even know what it's called. But uh, whatever it is, it's it's actually very cool. Um, if it was less crowded, you, you go go not on a Saturday, and go when it's not so hot, which it's fucking hot now. I know it's hot. Um, I told you that story, right, guys? About the fucking uh, the pizza guy he used to work at Lockyada Imports when we were, I was coming up in Lockyada. He was an old guy, and he, you you would go and get the pizzas and orange bang, and then the fucking his Vietnamese wife would always be like, "It's hot," and then he would turn around. And I heard him say all over under his breath about his wife, but I heard it, and she didn't. And he said, "I know it's fucking hot," <laughs> and I immediately thought, "Well, well, nobody. I'll never forget that. I'll never forget that. How about that? How about them apples? Huh? I'll never forget that." Um, oh, bro. I found my new favorite guy. I found my new favorite guy for real. Straight up. So, first of all, I'll tell you his name afterwards. God damn it. That was so loud. Just cut it out, huh? Cut that part out. I'll make it low. The fucking, uh, what do you call it? The, um, sorry about that. The, uh, sound plant is, is the max volume is too low. And so that happened. I'll, I'll, we'll bleep that part. This is my favorite part. He, he's in. He's in a coffee shop or a cafe, and he just starts wailing, dude. And people get scared to go. Mm-hmm. Well, one woman starting to cry. So Italian, the whole thing. Everything is so intense. You know, a woman literally starts crying. That's my favorite part of the song. Dude, imagine listening to the song and be like, oh, this is my favorite part. Oh, falling in love, that woman. Oh, this guy's killing it. Oh, falling in love. All of them falling in deep love. Like thinking about their, like having families with them. Oh, not done. That's. Screaming, dude. Wow, that's so killer. Dude, that guy, this guy's called the best. Sudden singer. That's like so funny. Sudden singer. This guy is so awesome. Man, I want to do this so bad, and I'm not that good at it. Look at this guy. Look at this guy, Who how he does it. Killer shit. Come on, play it. It's cool how I can't do it. <gasps> I, I, I guess he won... Um, I guess he won... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, Germany Got Talent. That's the most Italian thing to win, by the way. Germany Got Talent. Talent. Going to, going to Germany and just fucking absolutely crushing it. Lom dom je lom bida. Rom dom lam jam bida. Wurde wa dom nida. Hare aha. I got to do that. Come on, sudden singer. I got to just go to the coffee bean and just... There we go. This one. Not that one. There was a really good one. Hold on. Oh, it was the pizza one. What was the pizza one? Where he just takes up. What was the pizza one where he takes up? Here it is. Here it is. This is the song to do it with. Immediately, everyone's happy. Two gay guys kind of pissed off, though, behind him. 
looks like. I mean, we saw. We can. You know. I've seen better. Wow, the guy's dressed so like somebody from La Cunada. So good. Just slightest in the pizza like he doesn't give a fuck. And then he buys the pizza. The most Italian thing of all time. <laughs> Screaming. That's so awesome, dude. Wow. This is something that's so awesome that it, if it happened in real life, I would be so annoyed at, dude. Hold on, the whoop de da, whoop doop de whoop de do, rom do di olio, yor do di vana. I wonder if I did if people would clap at the end for real, dude. Well, that was bad. Um, I have to go an octave lower. I'm a true baritone. But uh, yes, yeah, he was a tenor. Okay, cool. He's a tenor. Uh, all right, that's it, dude. That that guy kills, dude. Sudden singer. Uh, thank you very much for listening. My tour, crystalie.com, Tucson. I'll be in Colorado, Nashville, Montreal, all different places. Um, that's it for the regular uh, show. If you want the extra, the uncut episode of Congratulations, uh, go on to Patreon, patreon.com slash crystalia. Uh, show is much longer. And also, there's that extra show you get every month. There's about 30 of them there now. You can go listen right now or watch right now if you sign up for only six bucks. Patreon.com slash crystalia. Thank you very much. Thank you.